Hello beautiful creatures of the world and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be talking about Justin Bieber. So I don't know if you guys know, um, Justin Bieber posted um, a picture on Instagram about two days ago with a long caption which I'll read in a minute. So my relationship with Justin Bieber, I actually have a video where I talk about my relationship with him. I respected him for a long time as a musician even though he was hated and then he started doing the crap that he did. I stopped respecting him as a musician but I still really enjoy his music. I even have concert tickets to see him this summer. Um, and if you had $2,000 you could go um, do a meet and greet with him and actually meet him. But he posted this on Instagram two days ago saying, Love you guys. I'm going to be canceling my meet and greets. I enjoy meeting such incredible people, but end up feeling so drained and filled with so much of other people's spiritual energy that I end up so drained and unhappy. Want to make people smile and happy, but not at my expense, and I always feel leaving mentally and emotionally exhausted to the point of depression. The pressure of meeting people's expectations of what I'm supposed to do, it, what, oh, I, I didn't even get halfway through that. It was just so long. It was such a rant about why he's canceling all his meet and greets in the future which i've made notes about how i feel about this i'm going to possibly get called a hater i'm prepared for that although i'm just saying it like it is right now so if you want to hate i'm prepared um but if you want to respectfully disagree with me and tell me what you say i very much welcome that if you wanted to meet justin you would have to pay over two thousand dollars what i think justin bieber fails to understand is that for you know 99% of people, that is a lot of money. I know since, like, he's been 14, he's just been, you know, making it rain, but $2,000 is a lot of money to people. Like, you're going to have to be very financially invested into meeting him and really want to meet him if you're going to make $2,000. I mean, I don't even know how long I'd have to work at my job to make $2,000 or have $2,000 of disposable income after all my bills and everything. And to pay that much money and put, like, your, your heart and soul into this and have it just taken away, I... I can't imagine how crushed I'd be because like I said, I'm looking forward to Justin Bieber's concert but strictly because of the music, not because I like him at all. If the Five Sauce concert that I'm going to, if I had tickets to meet them, I'd be so excited and if they pulled out, I'd probably be a mess. Like, I don't even know what I would be doing. And he just isn't taking that into account. Justin Bieber, this is your job. And with your job comes the responsibility. Do not understand the responsibility that comes with doing this. That's what I don't understand. And you know, he doesn't want to do this meet and greet. He feels so emotionally drained after them. It's like, you should be happy you still have fans. And that might be a little harsh to say still have fans, but it's like, you've done so much to hurt so many of your fans over the years. It's like, you still have some. You should be excited to meet them. And I understand that it could get monotonous, but it's like, everyone goes through stuff that's monotonous. It's like a part of life. What bothers me the most about this is how Justin Bieber is completely screwing his fans out of money. And this isn't the first time he did it. The first time he did it was in Norway when he simply didn't do the show. He screwed all his fans out of that money, not only robbing them of the experience they were planning on having and hoping to have, but he's robbing them of money. So if people who have these $2,000 tickets, when um, you bought a $2,000 ticket with a meet and greet package, that was your concert seat and your meet and greet. So if the venue is going to offer a refund, it's only a complete refund. So you no longer have concert tickets and you could no longer see him because the tickets would be sold out. Or if they weren't sold out, you'd only have like the nosebleed left. So you now have this impossible decision to make. Do I want to keep my seats that are good, but not $2,000 worth of good? Or do I want to get a nosebleed seat? I mean, he's putting them in the worst financial situation ever. And to go back to my first point, he doesn't understand that to everyone, 99.9% .9 of the world, $2,000 is a lot of money. If you ask me, Justin Bieber should have to be personally financially responsible for this. If he's going to be doing this sort of stuff, he should have to pay out of his own pocket to all the fans who put money towards him. Because he is profiting from their money. They work hard, long hours, and they really love him, and they put their hard-earned money into him. That's why he's rich. So he should have to give them that money back if he's not going to provide the service. It's like a business. He provides a service and the intent to make a profit. So if he's not going to provide the service, he needs to give a refund. And going back to the rant you gave on Instagram, it's like we all have parts of our jobs we don't like. Even if it's your dream job, there's at least one thing you don't like about your job. 
it, it's just a part of it. You know, you need to just be an adult and deal with your job, especially after you've made a commitment. If you hate meet and greets so much, don't do them on your next tour, but you've already made a commitment for this tour, so just, you have to get through this tour because you're an adult and you made a commitment. And like I said, I know I'm going to be called a hater on this. I just really want to get this off my chest. I want to see what people are saying. It just bothers me that he's just... Not only is he robbing his fans of the experience, he's robbing them of their money. And that's what really... I think that's what makes me more mad than anything. It's like he's a millionaire, rich over there, never has to worry about money. His whole life he's never really had to worry about it. He's living the high life because people like us who are working really hard for very little are giving our money to him. And I think that's what's bothering me. We're giving so much of our money to him, and he's not giving anything in return. So we're working hard. 99.9% .9 of people aren't, like, filthy rich like he is. Because, and the people who aren't filthy rich are giving him Mr. Filthy Rich money for the sake of getting a service, such as simply meeting him for, like, 30 seconds, and he's not even doing that. Now, that's what's really getting me on this. And, like I said, if you want to respectfully disagree with me, please go for it. If you're going to hate, you're going to do it anyway. If you want to agree with me, I'd love to hear that too. So, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what your thoughts are. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. Um, in the link below are my social media links. Go follow me if you are feeling the urge. And also, make sure to subscribe to become a beautiful creature of the world. And I will see y'all next time. Love y'all. Deuces.